All right, guys, for those of you who are interested in working with ESP8266, hopefully this video is going to be helpful. This is 8266 ESP01, which is probably one of the cheapest models of ESP. The other model that has external antenna is this guy. Each of these has up to 17 uh, GPIO pins. In this case on ESP1, if we are going to reach those extra GPIO pins, we're going to need to uh, get them directly from the IC, which is a really tough process, but it is possible. Uh, I would not suggest that, um, but if you are interested, uh, just make comments and I'm going to show you on my next videos. It's a really powerful microprocessor by itself. It has Extensa LX106 processor, 80 megahertz. You can get up to 17 GPIO pins. It has 64 kilobytes of RAM comparing to Arduino. This little guy over here, Arduino Uno, uh, has two kilobytes of RAM. So we have much more RAM on ESP8266 even though it's very small and it works with 3.3 comparing to Arduino Uno which works with 5 volts. These guys are about 2 bucks, 2 dollars. It's really cheap. Uh, other models of ESP could go up to 5 bucks, 6 bucks. It's not more expensive than that normally. The thing that I'm going to explain in this video is how we can go to 80 mode, 80 commands, which basically we can update directly from manufacturer's website. We can update the firmware. We can set the mode, how we can go to access point mode, how we can go to station mode, or we can, or we can set it into both of them. Uh, it's very easy, we just need to make a board for that. I'm going to put a link for a schematic on this video. I also made this little board. Let me focus on that. All right, over here. This is a USB to serial. We can use it for programming basically anything, not just ESP8266, or we can just use it for communicating USB to serial, RS-232. I also bought this little board from eBay. It was, I believe it was about uh, $2 or maybe even cheaper than that. The only problem was this was only set to 80 mode. That means we cannot use it for programming. I made a small change. I connected GPIO0 to the ground and I'm using this as a jumper. It's so simple. If you are interested in making a small jumper, you can just connect these two pins. It's gonna do the same thing. When we are connecting uh, GPIO 0 to ground, it lets us to program it, upload it to RAM, upload our program to RAM, um, and as, as soon as we disconnect it, it goes to 80 mode, which we can update the firmware, we can um, do all the settings basically, um, set the baud rate, uh, get the IP address and directly working with microcontroller. Setting the speed. Setting the port, 
jump into serial monitor okay so if I am in 80 mode it should show that setting the baud rate from here 80 okay um, let's make sure that you're gonna see what I am seeing over here all right as soon as I type AT, it will return an OK for me, right here. I'm going to put a link also for AT commands, which you can use. Alright, where we are going to get the firmware from? We need to be connected to internet. And also we need to set our Wi-Fi mode to be able to connect to internet. I'm going to ask what AT mode I am currently in. This is the command for that. Pasting it. I'm in mode 2, which means I'm just access point. I'm going to set it to mode 3, which is both station and access point. Bingo, we are all set. Just to show that it is applied. All right, now we are in mode three. I'm going to put my username and password for my network. It is right here. In the chart, you're gonna see join access point. My password. and my SSID okay it is trying to get connected sorry it looks I'm going to type it wrong every time Alright, this time it should be fine. Wi-Fi connected. That's a good news. Going back to our 80 commands. Mm -hmm. Firmware upgrade from cloud. Copy. Paste. Counting the steps right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, I believe we should be good right now. So that's all about it. Hopefully you like this video and it's going to be helpful. If you have any question, um, if I know that, if I know the answer, I would be more than happy to answer that. I will check it and I will answer it. Thank you so much for watching.